Okay, this is my monster craft and write. So this is the craft portion and then I will at the very end show the writing portion. Um, so the writing pages, the assessment, the rubric, the teacher guide, there's also a PowerPoint presentation. I'm not gonna show that, but it'll have all the steps to make this happen. Um, so that way, if you wanting to teach, if you're wanting to teach it, you don't have to do a full demonstration. You can just use a PowerPoint presentation, or if you have a sub, hey, everything is ready to go. There's also various writing um, resources. So you have nonfiction and fiction planning pages, and then also uh, various levels of writing prompt pages on the theme of monster um, or monsters in a kid-friendly way. And also they are for lower levels or levels or higher levels and various prompts, nonfiction prompts, fiction prompts, opinion writing, blank pages, all of them. So it gives you lots of flexibility when it comes to making your monster craft and then doing the writing portion. And again, you can check that out at the very end. All right, so now the monster one is kind of a unique craft because I have a few different templates. So there's a lot more templates in this one compared to the other ones. First of all, there are three different bodies to choose from. Okay, so we have kids have three different bodies to pick from, whatever style they want, or if you want to pick as a teacher, it's up to you for photocopying. Then you have bits and pieces. So they have a bits and pieces that they want to use for decorating and two different mouths. For me, I'm gonna totally use this mouth because it's I haven't had the opportunity to use it. I've been waiting to use it, so I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna set that one to the side. Okay, I'll come back to that. We also have different eyes, so you can cut and then place a couple of these at each table. And there's even more mouths down here, so there's lots of different pieces to choose from. You don't, I would put two of these, each of these pages at every table and then just pre-cut everything with like a big, long, choppy, choppy thing. I still don't know the word to that, anyways. Okay, then we have a few different arm styles. We got like the gooey man arms. You don't actually have to put them together. Like you can use this arm with any monster, right? You can mix and match pieces. You can mix and match the arms and legs, but this one just kind of goes together in my imagination. But your students might have a different imagination than my imagination, right? Then we got these crazy arms. I really like those. And then these fun arms, a little less scary. So you can cater to whatever style that you want. I'm gonna be catering. I like this one, so I'm gonna do these two. Mix and match them for this. Okay, so we're gonna, before I start cutting everything out, I'm actually gonna work on this guy first, my template, because I need to get drawing for this video. Otherwise, it's gonna be wet. You don't wanna sit here all day watching me do this, I don't think. All right, so I'm gonna pick my monster colors. Maybe I wanna do, maybe I'm gonna do these three. And I'm gonna be using wax crayons and watercolor paints for this to create a wax resist effect, but you don't actually have to. You can use whatever art making mediums you want. It's really up to you. And you can make this as complicated or as simple as you would like. Okay, I'm just gonna divide my monster up into three sections and kids can choose to do that however they want. Okay, and then they're gonna pick three patterns, whatever three patterns they want to do, and add them however they want onto their monster background. And this is just gonna bring a little bit of art and experimentation and creativity into the design. It's not gonna be super complicated, but it's gonna just add a little bit of artist flavor, a little bit of art experimentation and creative thinking, even though it is a craft. It's gonna make each design very unique, so not gonna be, you know, printer paper that's been printed and you just cut them out and everybody has the exact same thing. Nah, they'll be similar. They have lots of different pieces to choose from. They can make tons of different options and possibilities here. And although they're all making a monster craft, every craft is gonna end up being so different. It's definitely a very different experience. And then they're gonna be so pumped up about creating such a successful design that they get to write about it next. And they're already gonna be fired up and hooked for learning. So then they're gonna be really excited for getting onto the writing 
and completing that. And depending on the learners in your classroom or the ages that you're teaching, you have lots of different writing papers to choose from, making this resource really accessible to all the different learners that you might have in your particular classroom. Because I know classrooms can be pretty diverse. All right, so we got our monster all patterned out. And so I'm gonna make, pick a monster color. Actually, I wanna do green monster, hello. I was gonna do red, but you know. Green badine. I like green. Maybe I'm gonna do this darker green. Yeah. That's cute. All right. I was originally only gonna do one monster template, but man, there's just so many fun ways to do monsters, isn't there? So I just, I really couldn't help myself. I had to just do a few different versions and I feel like it's really gonna be an exciting thing for kids. You know, they're gonna like it, I think. Cause monsters are so fun. You know, and some monsters are not even mean. Like the story of Frankenstein really is about how everybody was scared of his appearance, but he just wanted to be friends, you know? Poor guy. Anyways. I mean, Sully from Monsters, Inc. That's another monster that's pretty nice. There's lots of friendly monsters out there. Okay, we got bits and pieces to cut and color while that dries. Just put that to the side for now. Now this one's a little bit trickier, so if you have younger students, you might not want to give them the trickier one. The other two legs and arms might be a little bit easier. Again, lots of flexibility and options for you to pick and choose from as a teacher. You can do as many or as few photocopies of the templates as you want. You can also pick and choose how many of the writing activities and prompt pages you want to do or how little that you want to do, that's all up to you. But you have lots of options, so that way you can be successful and have a successful day with your students. Because I know that you are extremely teacher tired. There are so many things to plan for, like literally the list is crazy. And I just have sometimes I feel like People who are not a teacher just have literally no idea how much energy you gotta put in a job. Like how on you gotta be. You gotta be ready for anything. <laughs> you never know, so yeah. It's just a, a teacher tired that only teachers are ever gonna really understand. Just the whole process. All right, so I got my legs. Again, you're not gonna put one of each of these for each kid. You're gonna do like two of these, each of these, two copies of each of these pages per table at the most. There's no need to do, to do all of them.
Okay, then I just need some bits and pieces. What am I gonna add to my monster? Dinosaur head. Why not? I like dinosaurs. Okay. And then we need a little bit of color on them. We got a monster body. All right, we got some monster parts to add. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I can't, I can't. Okay. Oh, that's for sticky glue. By the way, this is my favorite glue. If you're looking for a glue that literally is super awesome, it says strong and fast. That is 100%. This is some great glue. I love it. Okay. Just saying. Sometimes glue don't stick very well no more. That one does. Oh my gosh, it's so silly. Look at this thing. <laughs> Fun, right? Hello, I'm a monster. Don't mind me. I have new eyeballs. If I'm having this much fun, just imagine how much fun your students are gonna have putting this guy together. But he needs my heart. I will give him a little heart. Can't dinosaur, cause you know, dinosaurs are cool. Boom, there you have it. Your monster is done. pages so you got a lesson plan in there your um your standards uh, a warm-up drawing challenge uh, what are monsters reading activity uh two different styles of rubrics to meet the needs of your students you got a writing fear uh, peer feedback form three you got example included and also the step-by-steps for creating your monster so you can use all kinds of different ones and all your different writing pages all included in this and complete resource making your life so much easier as a teacher.